Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer this evening, um, live from St Andrews and Horton's and Darlington. We're pleased you can be with us this evening um, and it's great to be sharing just for some time the love we have for our Lord Jesus and the blessings that he gives us as we come towards the end of another week and remember that whether we've realised it or not, for the whole of the week, he's been here with us. We're going to be uh, uh, reading tonight, we're going to be following tonight from the liturgy uh, that we've used uh, all the way through since we've started these uh, morning and evening prayers. Uh, and we're going to be using the midweek worship at home liturgy and the night prayer. And tonight um, we're going to be reading um, together from Psalm 27. Uh, and then from Matthew and we're going to read Matthew chapter 9 from verse 35 on and then to chapter 10 verses 1 and then verses 5 to 8 so if you'd like to uh, get a Bible and uh, join in with the psalm as we read it yeah verse by verse and then follow the reading in Matthew chapter 9 and then to verse 10 uh, chapter 10 that would be great and as I said midweek worship at home and night prayer will be following in just a minute the theme for tonight um, I'm taking from another song that struck me when I was reading um, the readings and thinking about what God was saying to us, maybe wanting to say to us this evening. And it's a song actually by a dear friend of mine, Martin Joseph, um, and it's called I Will Follow. Um, and he sings it actually with Tom Robinson, um, for those of you who may well remember Tom Robinson. Um, but the uh, chorus goes, I will follow. I will go on and on. I will follow. Wherever you lead me, I will follow on. And uh, we'll explore why those phrases, that, that, that chorus and the phrase, I will follow, has relevance as we look at the psalm and then the reading from Matthew. So uh, we'll begin with the... Um, with that phrase, rather than the uh, reading from Deuteronomy this evening. So to the Lord we say, I will follow. I will go on and on. I will follow wherever you lead me. I will follow on. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let's just pause for a few moments and bring today, this week, to our dear friend and brother Jesus, as we sit together in the promise that he assured us that where two or three are gathered in his name, that he will be with us and we will can sit at the seat of the table, around the table, with our own Father God. Let's just reflect and bring, as we would as we come into any family, the thoughts, the feelings that are in our hearts. Share them with God now. Lord, it's good to come before you as a family to bring what's on our hearts and share them openly with you. Thank you for this gift. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. We're going to turn to Psalm 27 now and I invite you to join in 
every even verse as I read the whole thing. We're going to read from verse 1 all the way through to verse 14. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked against me to devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall though an army besiege me my heart will not fear though war break out against me even then will I be confident one thing I ask from the Lord this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me at his sacred tent where I will sacrifice with saps of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O God, my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me, lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, or false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And we turn now to Matthew chapter 9 and we're going to begin at verse 35 uh, and read on to the end and then chapter 10 verse 1 and then 5 to 8. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These twelve disciples sent out were sent, these twelve disciples Jesus sent out with the following instructions: Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message: The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Jesus needed friends, he needed to delegate. And in Matthew, it's no surprise that verse 9 finishes with Jesus being filled with compassion for all those in need that he met. And he turned and he asked his father and then empowered all those around him, those who had chosen to follow him and to trust in him and to seek his words, his counsel, his guidance, to become part of his family. And I think that that's a culmination 
or a realization maybe of what David was writing in Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? And verse 8, my heart says of you, seek his face, your face, Lord, will I seek. And the whole of Psalm 27 speaks of focusing on Jesus, following him, and as a result of that, being empowered by him, as we were freely given to and freely received. The power to drive out demons, heal the sick, to spread his love and be channels of his Holy Spirit's power in this world and freely give. St. Joseph says in the chorus, I will follow, I will go on and on. Wherever you lead me, I will follow on with your love, Jesus, and your power and your compassion for all those we meet, all those in need who Jesus calls us to meet and serve and love. We're going to enter into a time of prayer now and uh, as we do so we're going to have just one collect uh, short prayer and then a short time of open prayer where I invite you to intercede now for those people on your heart and on your mind those people who maybe God is calling you to show that compassion to to show and share his love and his spirit with and then we're going to finish with the Lord's Prayer and on to the blessing let's pray Merciful God, we entrust to you your unfailing and tender care this night and always those who are ill or in pain or in any other kind of need. Knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's bring those on our hearts and minds now to God and ask for his spirit for us to be his hands, his eyes, his feet here on earth. We turn now to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the power, the kingdom and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As we bring our short evening prayer to a close, let's say together, the words at the end of the, the liturgy and 
wish each other and bless each other as joint followers together of our Lord Jesus Christ and bless each other in the name of the Spirit to go and be and dwell with each one of us and to spread his word, his love, his message, his healing and his power throughout this world. So together we say, in peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And together we say to each other, to Mark, to Chloe, to Jill, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. Let us go in peace to love, follow and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Look forward to sharing the service this week with you. And as we go through Advent, journeying in a way of preparation for what may be a very strange Christmas for some of us, but equally, hopefully, a powerful one. Amen. Take care.